the second sort of gas can scene, cones and all this kind of stuff. Second gas cans I've seen today. Back to second gas cans. I've seen gas cans. Second time I've seen gas cans within the past hour. Tons of drone activity up there. Now, how'd the entertainment industry get so unchecked with their pal, you know, with their shenanigans? I mean, to the point that they're clearly terrorizing celebrities on a pretty constant level and assa they're getting assassinated. One thing I've noticed too early on in all of this, <clears throat> I noticed how these people that are involved in the trafficking system but are not celebrities, that, you know, maybe like call them, whatever, they're just, they're not uh, well known. They're not celebrities, but they're involved in the trafficking system. A lot of them seem to like think that feel like they can control celebrities, and they're like that. And I think that's gross. Here's a Colorado plate. I talked before about how somebody in Portland made a Facebook post in 2013 basically stating that David Bowie had terminal cancer, but ne David Bowie never announced that he had cancer until he died, then it was announced after he died that he had died of cancer. And he didn't know that he had terminal cancer or cancer according to the stuff that's been put out until like maybe a year before that or a year and a half before that. <clears throat> so how did she know? And that's a question that I've been asking and asked and you know at first I thought it was just a weird rumor but then I thought well what the hell is going on? Did she know something that even David Bowie didn't know? And I think maybe she did. So that's how bad this is. That's how utterly horrible and freaking dangerous and scary and terrorizing this is. That's what we're dealing with. 